there's a lot of two flows, two floy in the Bible. Two flows and two floy. A lot of blindness. Blindness. Blind dark Martimus is the one we're going to talk about right now. Israel was spiritually blind and spiritually deaf, spiritually dumb. But no one in the Old Testament was ever healed from blindness. That was specifically a messianic credential. And Jesus is going to flash his messianic credentials all over the face of Israel, but they will not believe because they're blind. And they want to be blind and they want to be deaf. 1046, 10 and verse number 46. Then they came to Jericho, Jericho, the city of palm trees. As he was leaving Jer Jericho with his disciples, a large crowd and a blind beggar, Bathemus, the son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road as he was accustomed, as he was normally did all the time. Matthew 20, 39 through 30, or 29 through 34, and Luke 18, 35 through 43 are cross references to this. When Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out, say, Jesus, son of David, Messiah, have mercy on me. He didn't say, please give me any money, did he? Mm -hmm. He said, have mercy on me. And many sternly rebuked him, telling him to keep silent, to be quiet. But he kept on shouting all the more, Son of David, Messiah, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, telling him, Take courage, get up. He is calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabboni, my master, let me regain my sight. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith and your confident trust in my power has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and kept and began following Jesus on the road. What a story. A story of faith. But how many Israelites were around him that didn't believe, that would not hear and would not see? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to look at this from the amplified or from the uh, the original scriptures from the Greek Koine Greek Bible. There were many Jer Jerichos, by the way, in the Bible that had been torn down and built again. This one here is about uh, 15 miles east of Jerusalem, and more than a mile south of the ancient city. That was one of the oldest walled cities in the Bible was, was the old Jericho. Kai Erkontai, Ace Erekho, Kai, ek poru o menu, alto apo ereko, kai ton mate ton, alto kai uklo, hikaino ho wheels. Temeu partimios, two flows, prosetes, eke theto. Hold on. And a little conjunction that ties this one with the, next, with the one before, two sentences together. And they came, third person, plural, present, indicative, middle voice. They came for themselves to Ace Jericho. Ace there again, extension, limitation of thought or verbal action. And Ace gives the whole idea that they're going to go all the way through Jerusalem, all the way through Jericho, the city of palm trees, Jericho. They're going to go through and around it, through it, on every side of it, unto Jericho, and again, conjunction, page 208, by the way. 
and uh, going out for themselves. Present participle, middle voice, genitive, singular, masculine. Him from Jerusalem, from Jerusalem, Apo, Jericho, that is from, from Jericho, and of the disciples, his habitual learners now, of him, and this is an Oklo, Oklo, or Oklos, Maryland. What does that, how many people is that? Oklo. Five, five to ten thousand people. So there are five to ten thousand people following Jesus. And a lot of them are church members. But there are twelve apostles, the first gift placed in the church. A crowd, Hikanu, that means uh, if sufficiently large, Hikanos is where it comes from, and the son of Timaeus, Bar Timaeus. Now what does Bar Timaeus mean? Bar, Bar in uh, Aramaic means son. Son of Timaeus. Son of Timaeus, that's what his name, Bar Timaeus. Tuflos, blind, and he is a pros ates. He is a, he is one that begs all the time. He's one that begs alms. And then it says, and he uh, kept on setting for himself beside the road. He kept on setting for himself beside the road. Go on to the next verse now. Kai Akusos Hote Asus Ho Nazaret Nazarnos Nazarnos Esten Erxato Krasane Kai Legane Wee David Esu Eleison Me And having heard that Jesus the Nazarene, he is. Now, the Nazarene, he is, is not in some of the oldest manuscripts, but it is in some of them. Jesus, the inhabitant of Nazareth. And he began for himself, look at that word exato there, comes from Arco. He began, he began to scream out at first. First time he heard about it, he began to scream. He began to scream, to cry out. Crossane, present infinitive active from Croso, and again conjunction, another sentence tied together here, and to say, and to continue to say, Weu, heir, son of David, Jesus, Savior, Messiah, Yahshua. And then we have something here. Eleison me, eleison me. Now, Jesus, one of the titles in the Old Testament for Jesus is the one who gives mercy. Mm -hmm. The one who shows mercy. The merciful one. And he said, have pity on me. He, he's using his messianic titles here. Son of David. This is the real son of David. This is uh, Genesis 3.15. The fulfillment of Genesis 3.15. And... Verse number 48. Kai epe temon ato poloi hina so o pesoi ho de palo malon ekrazen wie david eleison me. And they kept on rebuking him. Third person plural imperfect indicative active. It comes from epi and tamao. They kept on intimidating him. They kept on uh, bemeaning him. They kept on degrading him. That's what the word epitomao is. Many, many did this. Many people did this. In order that he might shut up and be quiet. Co pao is what it comes up. Third person singular, first error, subjunctive, active. That he might shut up and be quiet. That he might be calm. The word here comes from like the calm the ocean. But, moreover, the one, weak adversity conjunctive particle, page 85 there that day, and then whole is nominative singular masculine definite article, but it's got a practical substantive there. 
much. But the more much, rather, that's a little comparative, adverb comparative from Mala there. He kept on crying out, Son, we a heir, that's vocative singular masculine, vocative singular masculine, son of David, please have mercy upon me. Second person singular, first heir, it's imperative active. Have mercy upon me. 49. Kai stas ho asus e pan phonesete auton kai phonusen phonusi that is ton tuflon legontes auto faresi si. And having stood still, having stood still, Nominative singular masculine, second heiress, participle active, having stood still, the Jesus, the Jesus, ho Jesus, there is nominative singular masculine, definite article, and the same thing with the noun, his name. And he said, third person singular, second heiress, indicative active, and he said, phonesete, you call. Second person plural, first error is imperative active. You call, this is a commandment. You call him. Alton there, that's accusative singular masculine third person pronoun. And another sentence tied together here. And they phonuse, they call him third person plural, present indicative active from phoneo. The blind one, or the one blind. Saying, nominee plural masculine, present participle active, you saying, kept on saying to him, be of courage and good cheer. Let your spirits be lifted up. Second person singular present imperative active. Let your spirits be lifted up. Far say, far say. Verse number 50 now. Ho de apo balon, to himation, auto, ana paid desos, elthane, pros ton, asum. Moreover, the one, we could verse the conjunctive particle there, page 85, the one. And here we have nominative singular masculine, definite article, the one having thrown. Look at that one having thrown. Apo thrown away. Having thrown away. Now that is nominative singular masculine, second heiress, participle, active voice. Having thrown the hamartion. He threw it away. Now, he is blind. How could he ever find it if he threw it away? Yeah. Somebody's going to have to take it to him or whatever. And back then, clothes were worth a lot of money. So he's got, all, he's got a lot of confidence here. When he throws that, his cloak away, his garment away, he knows he can find it because he's going to see it. The garment of him, the garment, toe, that's accusative singular neuter, toe and Accusative singular neuter hamation, the garment of him belonging to him, that's genitive singular masculine, third person pronoun. Ana pedesos. And having leaped up, nominative singular masculine, first heiress, participle active. First heiress is real punctual reaction, but this is a participle, so it's a continuing thing. He leaped up in the process of leaping up. He leaped. He sprung. Pedeo is to, to spring or to run, and ana to run up or to leap up. And then it says here, he came toward toward pros, page three forty six by the way. Pros is the Jesus, and he came toward Jesus. 
right down before him, close, right down at his feet. Kai apo krites, alto ho esus e pan ti si de les poieso ho de tuflos e pan alto rabone hina on a flepso. A little another, this is a run on sentence here now, another sentence. Another sentence began, but it's tied together. And having answered him. Now the singular mask in first there is part of simple passive, having been called to answer him. To him, David singular mask in third person pronoun, the Jesus. O Jesus, a pen, he said. Third person singular, second aorist indicative active. He said, and that's coming from Lego, by the way. What? A little interrogative pronominal adjective here. T. What? For you. That second person pronoun there. What for you? You wish. The lace. That comes from fellow, second person singular, present indicative active. What do you keep on wishing? I shall do, poi aso, I shall do the one, moreover the one, blind, two flows. He said to him, Rabboni, teacher, in order that I might receive again my sight. I might look up and recover sight. I might look up and recover sight. We don't know how that he lost his eyesight, but he wants to look up and recover sight. Verse number 52 now. Kai ho esus, a pain, how to hippage, hey pistis, si sesoken, si kai euthus, anaplepse, kai akuluthe, how to ente, Hodo. And the Jesus, the Jesus, by the way. The Jesus, not some Jesus, but this Jesus. Nominee, singular, masculine, noun, and name also, or the definite article and the name also. And then it says, He said, third person, singular, second aorist, indicative act, He said to him, Native singular masculine third person pronoun that I've told there. By the way, everything, every definite article, every noun, every verb is inflected. Then you know what part of speech is plain. And the Jesus. Jesus here is the nominative, he is the subject. Okay? The Jesus, he said to him, that's dative, singular, third person pronoun. He's the one that's going to be acted upon. Hippage. Second person singular, present, imperative, active. You go. This is the commandment. You go now. Hippo and I'll go. You go. That hippo in the front of is a, it strengthens that. You go. The faith of you. The faith, nominally singular, feminine. Definite article and the faith, nominally singular feminine, belonging to you. Where did you get the faith, by the way? God. For in grace you're having been saved through faith, and that not not, not, not out, out of yourself, it is a gift of God, not a work, lest any man should boast. The faith comes from God. The faith belonging to you, it has healed and saved you. Second person singular, perfect, indicative, active, so-so, is where I come from. Your faith has healed and saved you to the furthermost. And immediately, another sentence here, chi, conjunction 208, immediately, that's a little adverb of time, by, by the way, and immediately he looked up, he looked up, he looked up with sight, he could see. And immediately he began to see. Third person singular, first aorist, indicative, active. On a blepo. He saw again. 
And he kept on following. Conjunction, another sentence. Akulothe, he kept on following, third person singular, and perfect and dictative active him. He followed after him, auto. Dative singular masculine, third person pronoun. In the way. He kept on following him, in the way. The word in there, that's a little preposition where we get our English word in. In the road. He kept on following him right in the road. Now he could see, he could find his clothes that he threw off. Mm -hmm. His garment, his wrapper, basically. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful testimony of the messianic credentials of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The blind man proved that Jesus was Messiah. And Israel was still blind. All of those that wished to be blind remained blind. All those that wished not to hear remained deaf. Father, we send this message out for your honor and glory. Please use it wherever it goes in the world. Teach your people. Love them with your word. Caress them with it. Touch their lives wherever they are, whether it's Europe and Africa, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Wisconsin, wherever they are. New York. Father, please touch their lives with it. Please forgive me where I fail you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.